I'm uh, <clears throat> Michael Moore, and I'm the president of the film festival. Um, and um, um, we've had uh, patrons already have had their cars locked in the in the deck uh, because of closing at 11. One of the things that we need, uh, and I think I don't know if this has to be a motion of the council, but I think we can work this out uh, with the DDA and the parking deck people, is that the as long as the deck stays open until the last show is out. Um, what's happened is that people have gone to the 9 o'clock show or 9.30 show uh, and found their car locked in the, in the deck. But uh, we're here to say uh, that uh, we greatly appreciate the DDA um, addressing our proposal and accepting it and uh, proposing it uh, to you. We think this will be very good for, for downtown. Um, we had, uh, on New Year's Eve, we had over 1,000 people there and no place to park because uh, it was closed. <clears throat> on New Year's Day, it was, uh, the deck was closed again. We had the opera at the theater. So we had another uh, 540 people uh, looking for a place to park. Um, and uh, so the theater has been bringing hundreds of people downtown who uh, normally uh, wouldn't uh, be coming to downtown. Uh, on Saturday, we had 1,500 people at the theater. Sunday, we had 1,100. Uh, today, on a Monday, after everybody's gone back for the holidays and, and it turns into the shining here, um, we had, uh, we've had about 300 people down there. These are people who otherwise wouldn't come to downtown. To bring 300 people to downtown on a Monday in the winter is a good thing. And uh, frankly, <coughs> um, I would like to, when you review this, uh, uh, have you take a look at uh, July and August, and I know the reason for that is because you have downstaters uh, coming up uh, to the Cherry Festival and the Film Festival and you want to get their money. Uh, but that means that the people who live here, uh, who are year-round residents, suddenly have to um, uh, pay. And so an $8 movie ticket uh, becomes a $12 movie ticket. And that's why downtown has always had a hard time competing with the mall because the, uh, the parking is free out there. So um, personally, I would like to eventually see uh, the parking free for everyone. I don't think you'll ever make the money back. Um, Four dollars is the maximum anyways that you can pay there. You'll never make the money back at what it costs to build that parking deck through parking fees. It's a, it's a, something that um, is a service uh, to the community and, uh, and it's good that the community has it. So um, anyways, uh, you know, we appreciate that. And thank you for the, the five o'clock Thing because that'll help also uh, with the people coming down. <coughs> um, I just want to say a couple things about the, the hole in the ground that's our neighbor, uh, three doors down. Uh, if you get a chance to go in the Chase Bank building, go up on the second or, or third floor and look down in there, it looks like Nam. I mean, you'd be shocked if you saw it. It's masked by that fence. It's a hazard. I'm certain that rodents are having conventions in there. Um, I, you Seriously, you wouldn't hesitate at all if you seriously saw the mess, the hazardous mess that exists uh, in that hole. And uh, I agree uh, with what Rick said over here. I think you should take aggressive action. You should not be worried about a potential law. I mean, you should be worried about a potential lawsuit, but worry about it in the way that where you're going to fight it and win it. And don't let some wealthy developer, who I believe is from Texas, is that where he lives? This, right? Am I right? Texas? Texas. Texas. <laughs> Texas. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> some wealthy guy in Texas is, is the very first thing you see when you enter downtown, the blight that you see is caused by a wealthy guy in Texas that we're supposed to be afraid of. Um, those of us at the film festival and the state theater would love to make this our next project. Uh, we got the theater open in six weeks. We'd love to fill that hole. And we'll organize the people uh, to do it for you. And uh, I think a nice city park on that corner. You know, there's no green space anywhere on Front Street or uh, State Street. To have uh, a piece of, of green space downtown uh, would be a nice thing to have. Uh, you could have summer things there. You could swing dances, you could do, you could put up a gazebo, I mean, any of a number of nice things that you can do there. Sculptures. 
And I haven't said anything about, I'm going to run out of my five minutes, but I. Yeah, actually, uh, am I up? To can, I, that. can I finish? Yeah. Uh, One uh, sentence, Michael, yeah, and that's yeah. it. Well, actually, um, I'm actually supposed to be in Hollywood right now. And um, I'm, if you switch over, if you're watching this on TV at the VH1, I'm actually accepting an award right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I chose to be on TC TV too, because this is really important to us uh, here at the festival and, and making sure that the theater um, has, a, has a good, uh, good run here. Um, but the, um, um, the uh, uh, place of the sculpture there, public art is very important mm -hmm. and uh, will make a better city, right. uh, public Michael, art. Thank you so much for your comments. But we no, the end it. of the sentence is coming. <laughs> 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 the, uh, <laughs> we can't put our inflatable screen in front of that 30-foot uh, high sculpture. If you place a sculpture there, <laughs> Uh, uh, the company will not put the screen in front of it for fear of it. If there's a wind gust, it would tear it. That'll be the end of the free films at the open space uh, if that sculpture is placed in that location. Uh, thank you very much, and, and thank you for doing this for the parking deck. Thank you.